Following two local breaking news alerts, we begin with one in Jacksonville's Brentwood area where News 4 Jax is told a student was caught with a loaded gun at his high school. Since 5 o'clock, we're now learning what the school administration is telling parents about it. The student attends Andrew Jackson on North Main Street. While police were investigating, the high school was on lockdown. Channel 4's Adrian Moore is joining us live from Jackson with an update. Adrian? Tom and Mary, this is the 13th gun-related incident at Jacksonville School so far this year. A law enforcement source tells News for Jax that the student involved in this incident was carrying a loaded 22. However, the school district is only telling us that another student notified teachers that a classmate had that weapon on campus, but we've been told that that armed student was later arrested off campus. We were stopped and they shut the school down and we was on cold yellow and it was like no one can stand by the door, no one open the door or anything and everyone had to be quiet. So everyone was trying to figure out why we had to be quiet and no one knew what was going on. The school district says the school was put on what's called a code red lockdown while campus police and the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office started to investigate. Students tell us the lockdown lasted about an hour and a half before they were let out 20 minutes late from class for the day. Principal Evan Daniels issued a voicemail message to all Andrew Jackson parents today explaining exactly what happened. In that message, Daniels said the student involved will be disciplined according to the school's code of student conduct, which can include a recommendation for expulsion. This is bringing a gun to school is just ignorant, so they should get the proper, you know, punishment for the crime that they did. Now, we still don't know at this point if the student involved in this incident was a male student or a female student. So still a lot of details to gather here at Andrew Jackson High School. We're going to continue to gather that information and bring you an update tonight on the 10 o'clock news. Reporting live tonight, Adrienne Moore, Channel 4, the local station.